Hey everybody, welcome back to our series on beginning with Martin MPC and M-Series consoles. I'm David Henry from LearnStageLighting.com and in this video I want to show you how to begin with presets. Now if you're completely new to a professional lighting console or completely new to lighting in general, you might not know what presets or palettes are. And so I've linked to a video in the description below where you can check out um, how to begin with presets and, and what that really means. Now let's go build some. First thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our group. Let's grab the LED PARS group. Uh, we'll grab both groups, why not? And we're going to build our first presets. Now the presets, in this particular view, the group's presets uh, view here, is in this presets window below. You can see we've got intensity presets, pan tilt, color, gobo, beam, beam effects, and framing. And these presets are all going to contain the data for those different parameters. Let's start by creating an intensity preset. I'm going to pop out my attributes here so you can see what's going on. I'm just going to bring all these fixtures up to full, pop up my command keys, record, and pick a preset. Then I'm going to type at full to give it a name. Perfect. I'm going to clear everything out of my programmer. Now I'm going to grab just my spots, create my first pan tilt preset. So I'm going to go ahead. For this, I actually want to show you the graphical way to do things. So I'm going to pop out to the left here with this arrow, click over here to movement, and move the pan and tilt of my units. Now it's worth noting if I do give them some intensity, click over here, select them in my intensity preset, and go to my 2D plan. We're able to see on the 2D plan as I move them around. So we're going to give them a little preset here. Whoop. Let's point them this way. Perfect. We'll call that preset guitarist. So I'm going to go over here to pan tilt, pop this guy back, press record. Again, this, this could be a record key on your console or M-Touch, but in this case, I'm just showing you on the screen in case you just have the PC in front of you. Click where I want it to go, and it, and it has a name now, PT1. I'm going to type over that. Guitarist, if I can spell. Not very well, but that's okay because we can just type over it before clicking on anything else and rename it with the right spelling. Go ahead and create a color preset. Click spots. Now let's click the spots and the LED bars. Can hide our programmer. We're going to bring out our, our old school controls here. Click over to the paintbrush for color. And we've got a nice color picker. Click anywhere on the color picker to dial in a color that you like. And we're able to save that. Now it's worth noting, of course, you probably want to give your units intensity first before defining a color so you can actually see what's going on. Go over here, I'll show you the 2D view. You can see everything's in red, perfect. Click my record key, Whoop. make sure I'm on color. You can always drag around any of the windows in M-Series by just clicking a blank space and dragging. And we're gonna name it here now, it's named color one but we're going to type red to name it. You can do this with any attribute of the light. Like I said, you can do it with gobos, you can do it with beam, which is going to be uh, your zoom and parameters like that, your beam effects, and your framing shutters if your unit has framing shutters in it. Presets can be recalled at any time. You can recall it just on certain fixtures. You can recall it on all the fixtures you've got recorded to it. And it's a great building block to recording cues and cue lists, which happens to be the topic of our next video.